Hello, Dave here with RadiationHealthRisks.com. I appreciate you coming and watching this video. If you like what you see here, uh, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell and like the video. That helps us get the word out a little bit better. Um, and this is important stuff, so I appreciate that. So what I wanted to talk about in this video is these things that I call uh, metal mesh baskets or cages. This is this, the name of this is actually called the uh, uh, wave cage. Um, this is just a, a metal mesh basket that you can get on Amazon. I have links to that on the website. And uh, same with this. This is like a, I forget what they call this, but I have a picture of it and the name of it and a link to it. Where you can get the links to those, if you happen to want those, is if you go to, there's two different pages that I have links to those on, on radiationhealthrisks.com. One, if you click on the, the, uh, the recommended protections tab, it'll take you to a page with a bunch of images. And, and if you click on the one that's cell phone protection items, that image, or the one that's Wi-Fi protection items, um, I believe, uh, I don't think I have currently a link to this. Um, I probably will add this later. So if you're watching the video immediately after I create the video, this won't be on there. But these other three, um, uh, I have links to on, on both of those pages and um, have their names and everything. So what are these for? Let's talk about that for a second. Those of you that have seen like my other videos, the smart meter guard video or the Wi-Fi router guard video um, that I have on both on the website and on the YouTube channel, um, the way that the Wi-Fi router guard or the smart meter guard protect and block 95% of the RF radiation is they have conductive metal um, uh, parallel lines of metal. They're, made, they're, they're, like, they're made out of the same kind of material as this. And so um, RF radiation or any kind of electromagnetic radiation in the, in the lower frequencies, the microwave through radio frequencies, Anyway, it doesn't travel very well through um, parallel lines of conductive metal. And so we'll, we'll, you'll see that in the tests. So the, the only difference between this and like the Wi-Fi router guard or the smart meter guard is there's an open top. So like if you put a cell phone in there, you, you are still getting radiation out the top. So how are these effective? How do you want to use these? Um, like for a cell phone or for anything that you put in there, you want to have it at least five to six feet away from your body. I've measured it with this, and when you get at least five, preferably six feet away from your body, it's hard for this meter to pick up the radiation that's coming out of that. I, I, um, I put my cell phone in this wave cage at night, and I set it up on an armoire, and from where I'm sleeping, um, it's a little over six feet away, and I put this meter right down there by where my body would be, and I turn it on when I have my cell phone up there and I, I can't pick up any radiation. It's like still three, it's measuring three, two to three microwatts per meter square. And I just sleep like a baby when I have that in there. Um, so that's what you want. You want it at least five to six feet away from your body and higher than you are. I do the same thing in my office. I have like a printer that's up a little bit higher. I have a shelf in my office. You just want to have a little bit above your body. And, and as far away as you can, um, even when you're charging it, you know, I just leave it up a little bit higher than you and it blocks most of the radiation. Other things that these are good for um, is the big one that, that I really recommend you use it for is baby monitors. Um, if you go to, um, again, go to the recommended protections page down towards the bottom, you'll see... Uh, one about baby monitors. If you click on that, I have this video uh, on that page. And what it is, is it's a series, it's one of a series of videos that I did where I went room by room through a house um, and tested every room in this house for RF radiation and also during electricity. But I used this meter for the RF radiation. And this particular video that I'm talking about was the video in the baby's room. When I came into the baby's room, I just barely got in the doorway and so I was probably at least 10, 12 feet away from the, where the babies uh, 
where the where the uh, baby monitor was, and this thing was it was already pegging the meter. Um, those baby monitors really put off a lot of radiation, and they're constant. Putting your baby next to one of those is like setting your baby up on the kitchen counter right next to the microwave while you're cooking dinner. It's bad news. I wouldn't do it. But by the way, on that page that has the video, you know, you go to recommended protections and down there where I was telling you the picture of the baby monitors. I also have lower emission, uh, or yeah, I think that's low emission uh, baby monitors on there. So better to just parent the old fashioned way, not have a baby monitor, in my opinion. Um, but if, you, if you're one of those that insists on having a baby monitor, at least get one of those lower emission baby monitors. And then get it, stick it in something like this and stick it up on, you know, above the baby where they're sleeping um, so you can protect it. Now, a wastebasket, some of the complaints I get about these is, oh, that's not very aesthetic. You know, you stick in the baby monitor in there or, or like I've mentioned it for like Alexa or Echo, stick them in one of these because um, they put off Bluetooth sometimes as well as just regular wireless um, RF radiation. Anyway... Um, people say, well, this is not aesthetic. Okay, so in your living room, you might not want to have an echo in there. You might not think that looks aesthetically pleasing, but maybe a basket like this looks nice. You can make it decorative and put your echo or your, or your uh, Alexa in that or a baby monitor. For a baby monitor, because the basket has such high sides and, and the baby monitor puts out so much radiation, this is my preference. And whenever you don't have the baby sleeping, you can just take the baby monitor out of it, turn, you know, turn off the baby monitor and set this on the ground. It looks like a waste basket again. And then when your baby's sleeping, just stick it in there and stick it up high because this, this is so big and it's got high sides. You stick a baby monitor down there. It really does. A, um, you'll see as we test if this is the one out of these items that does the best job at, at blocking it, mainly because it's size. Um, but, but all of them work. This is my least favorite just because it's so small and anything you put in there is so close to the, to the edge of the, of the, the metal side that the close, the more distance there is between your cell phone and the, the metal mesh, um, the better it will stop the radiation. So with this being so close, it, it just doesn't stop as much as these other things do. This this works pretty dang good. This works pretty dang good for the purposes that I use it, and this is the best. So we're gonna show you that now. So I'm gonna turn this on. This reads microwatts per meter squared. This model is the HF35C high frequency analyzer. Measures only RF radiation, um, and you can see it's calmed down. When you first turn them on, it goes crazy, but now it's down to about three, two, three microwatts per meter squared. That's what my house is when I don't have any electronic items turned on. Um, and, I, and I have my house now with all these protection items, so I keep my house at that. But that's your goal, is to get your house down to around two, three microwatts per meter squared, at least less than six. Um, all right, so let's turn this on really quick. This is my... Uh, Test cell phone here. Uh, let's turn off. I have it on airplane mode. That's why it's not squeaking. We'll turn on Wi Fi. Okay. So you can see pretty quick. Yep, there it's maxing out the meter. So I'm going to get this basket here first. We'll test it first. And we're going to stick this in there. And you'll see that right away, those baskets work pretty dang nice. I've only got it about a foot, maybe a foot and a half away, and it's taking it down to 28, 3, 4, uh, blocked a lot of it. Those baskets are great because it put you got plenty of room for some distance between the item and the wall, um, and it's got nice high walls. It's just, it's works really nice. Again, not the most aesthetically pleasing, but it works great. Now I'm gonna flip this over here. See, we're pegging the meter there again. We're going to set this up. And the reason I have it up set higher is because 
radiation does come out the top, so I want, don't want the meter to pick up. I want the meter to pick up as little as possible. So we're running 290, 240, 171, 130, 84. Oop, better hold it there where you guys can see it. But now it's up to 300 and something, 143. Okay, so now that's about a, a little over a foot away. So I'm going to show you the difference that distance makes. So if we move this back over here, that's got to be about four feet away. And let's watch how that affects it. Takes it down to three, oh, 36. Oop, better hold it there where you can see it. You can still pick it up. It's about four feet away, uh, but it's dramatically less. So when it's higher than you and it's that, you know, it's blocking, uh, I mean, just, just like this, close, it's blocking some radiation. You're at 200, 250, 290, you know, like that. Let's see if it's, pull it out. Let's see if it's pegging the meter. So it, it, it blocks about 95% of the radiation, but you want to have it higher than you. So hopefully that makes sense. Okay, let's bring this back close. And this is my least favorite thing. I told you that already. So you put that right in there like that. We'll set that up on there. It's about a foot away. It's still 1,200. It's blocking some. 1,000, 1,100, 1,200. It's blocking a significant amount, but not as much as that other uh, wave cage was. Now if you move it away, four feet away like that, like it was, and you're down to 190, 240, uh, still blocking a lot of the radiation. It's just not doing as good a job as those other ones. And again, the reason I think it is is because it's, it forces your cell phone to be so close to the, uh, to the metal mesh. The metal mesh is fine. If this was bigger, it would work great. This is just too small a one. Okay, so we'll test this. this back over here close. Every, my wife really likes this. She thinks it's really cute. So this is something you could put your echo in or something and not be worried about it. You, know, you could use it, decorate around it, not be so aesthetically unpleasing. So if you stick that up there, let's make sure that it's still maxing our meter out. Yep, it's maxing our meter out still. Stick it in there. What's it saying? 900, 400, 300, 200. Every once in a while it does a 1200. So, 900. Uh, anyway, it's it's blocking a fair amount. Doesn't seem to be doing quite as good as the waste basket or the wave cage. But it's still, let's try it a little farther away. Four hundred, three hundred, hundred and fifty, ninety, fifty, twenty. There we go. Seven hundred, three hundred, five hundred. So that's still picking up a fair amount. Now let's put it a full four feet away like I had before. Those other ones, I mean. Okay, so from about four feet away, it's pretty dang good. 190. You got to remember the when it's pegging the meter, it's doing 2,000 microwatts per meter squared, which means it could be four or five, uh, you know, thousand microwatts per meter squared. So this, these baskets are working, but you're still getting a, a you know, some radiation through. So the two that that do the best. Out of these um, are the, the waste baskets the best, and then this is the next best. Um, this does pretty good, and this this one here is the worst.
but they're all better, you know, they're all blocking, you know, 80 to 90 percent of the, or 90 to 90 plus, I would say, percentage of the RF radiation. It's just in comparison to each other that they're doing that. So they're, they're, all, they're all effective. They're all doing, doing well. I hope that made sense to you. So again, uh, you know, baby monitors, get a low emission baby monitors like we have on the, the you know, that link I told you on uh, recommended protections. You'll see the picture of the baby monitors. Click on that. I'll take you to the page that lists seven different low emission baby monitors. And then things like Echo, uh, cell, you got to have your cell phones in this at night, in my opinion. They're just this or this, any of them. And then keep it six, at least six feet away from you, higher than you are, and it'll just make a world of difference. The better thing to do would be turn your cell phone off or turn it on airplane mode. Then it's not it, and then keep it away from you. Um, but so many people want it on. They don't have landlines anymore. That this is... If you're going to leave your cell phone on, this is the way you want to have it. Um, so I hope that helps. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Uh, uh, I just I'm, uh, just don't forget to like the page or or uh, subscribe. It helps us. But I uh, just really enjoy doing these videos. I hope you guys like it. <laughs> uh, so anyway, thank you very much. Talk to you later. Bye.